how can you identify the substance present in all the fractures in all of fine emerald and all the greenish crumbling stuff which is also emerald all around the world who is doing the identification job and where are the police forces to punish those who do not disclose where are the gemology classes on how to identify fracture feeling and where are the thousands of trained gemologists who can identify these feelings where is the equipment for this identification job? And who will pay the expense of checking every single emerald in the world who has been and ever kept guard next to the emerald crystal from the moment it leaves the parent rock until it is set as a faceted gemstone in a piece of jewelry? How can you make a guarantee for all the hands that the stone passed through before it finally reached you and all the hands it will pass through after it leaves your possession? On every stage of the journey from the mine to the jeweler, emerald Emeralds are immersed in different liquids for cleaning, for judging, for enhancing. Every owner wants stone to look better than the price that was paid for it. This means that with each change of heads, there is potential for fracture filling. Can you imagine what a cocktail of oils, resins, epoxies, and other substances accumulates in the opening of the fracture? Even a good chemist is not in the possession to identify such a small amount of such a complex material. And if the filling can be identified, what should we call it? Shall we say the fractures contain opticon from the mine, plus petrol from the saw? plus lap oil from the cutting wheel. Polishing compound and oil from the last oiling performed after cutting, plus the substance from the very last oiling, say Canada balsam resin, before the stone is set. Term oiling are used in a trade a long ago acquired a new meaning. It no longer means filling fractures with oil. It now refers to filling the fractures with any comparable color as fracture filling material, which enhances the appearance of the stone. 